and welcome back to Danny's Hamsters. Today we are going to be talking about unsafe hamster products. So first of all, yes there are unsafe hamster products out there in the world sadly. So this video will tell y'all what to do and how you can prevent getting these and different alternatives. So the first unsafe hamster product we are going to be talking about is bedding. N not all bedding is safe. Cedar wood shavings, pine shavings, what else? I don't know. Anything that says p shavings. Anything that says shavings besides aspen wood shavings. Aspen wood shavings are really are good for your hamster. They won't like poke their eyes because shavings as they are, they're shavings. So they can cause splinters and they can poke your hamster. So you don't want to get those products because those will really hurt your hamster. And a different alternative for those types of bedding. Oh, and you don't want to get cotton bedding like that fluffy bedding that says super soft for your hamster, great for sleeping. That can get stuck in your hamster's toes or nails and also because you, if they ingest it, it can block where they breathe and they won't be able to breathe and they could die from it. And another, some other safe beddings would be Aspen as I said and then paper-based beddings like K Team Clean and Cozy or just other hams other hamster safe beddings. Pa just get paper-based bedding guys, just paper-based. And then another one is wheels. There are unsafe hamster wheels like wire mesh wheels. Those are very unsafe. Wire mesh or just wire or mesh those can cause bumblefoot on your hamster and you don't want your hamster to have that because that is something that they can get on their put foots since their foot is just their toes and all that stuff they don't have a like paw like dogs and cats so you don't want to get those and also because they can get their toes stuck in there and break and then you don't I I personally don't have anything against flying saucers. I just think that it's more likely for your hamster, especially if you have a Roboroski, to go flying off the flying saucer. So don't get a flying saucer. Get like a wooden wheel or a silent spinner, something like that. For Syrians, I recommend, I honestly really, really recommend, um, the bigger the better. There's no, there isn't too big of a, hamster wheels so I will be making another video on that soon about how what sized wheels and I will be making oh my plant it's going to die and this little leaf is dead though you help if y'all just wanted to look this is my plant it's just a like cactus thing I don't know what it is actually but you want to you don't want to get any wire mesh wheels or a wheel too small. I suggest just getting a big wheel and that'll be fine for your hamster. Like a 12 inch, 11 inch wheel. The next unsafe hamster product would be critter trails. If you own a critter trail guys and you have seen your hamster bar chewing or climbing on the bars like this, then that means that they are stressed out or bored. And critter trails are really tiny. Even though they have different floors, critter trails are honestly really more for like children entertaining and all that stuff. But remember guys, hamsters are living and breathing animals. They still need, just because they're small doesn't mean, and it even says right there on the package, for small animal. Just because an animal is small guys, doesn't mean that it doesn't deserve certain things. So you want to get your hamster. If you can't afford a K, an aquarium because those are really expensive, get an Ikea Detox. Those are super cheap. They're like $60, $70. If you can't afford that, get a bin cage. Bin cages are amazing cheap choices. I am uh, I have a bin cage for Rose actually, but I'm thinking about maybe upgrading her 
in a, once she turns about maybe once around like maybe next year, maybe in March during my birthday or maybe for my sister's birthday, she said she might ask for a bigger cage for Rose. I want to get that as one of the presents because I just think that that the cage that we have her in right now is too small because I have slept down here in my recording studio to like see her and see what she's been doing and I and I honestly see that she runs a lot. So I want to I want to get a bigger cage for her, maybe like a cage that is like this really that's really tall and very long so that she can run around in it that I can put more bedding in there and the more bedding you have the better actually the bigger the cage the better because then you don't have to clean it out as much the bigger the cage the better because then all the bedding it sucks up all the pee and all of that and you don't smell it because honestly for me I don't even smell Rose's poop or pee whenever she goes poo and pee I don't smell it so get a big cage for them guys because you don't want your hamster living in a tiny cage I guess like if they're babies then yeah you can have them in like a small cage but once they turn about four weeks four weeks of age well I'd say six weeks six to eight weeks of age take put them into a different cage guys because they're going to be running around a lot and then what else is there I guess that would pretty much be it and you also don't want to get your hamster unsafe food so sadly there isn't a mix in the world that comes with the perfect amount so mix your mixes guys get a seed mix like a fruit mix and also the normal mix with some pellets and all that stuff so that they can have a variety mix the mix that I give my that I give both of my hamsters, Rose and Flash, is I give them a like jerk, a like guinea pig mix, and then I also mix it in with some seeds and then some herbs. Herbs. I don't know. Depends how you say that. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this all and gave y'all enough information for for you to know how to treat your hamster and what to buy for your hamster. Hope you guys have a nice day. Bye!